I used to say older flagships are the best phones to buy. While that is still true, Samsung is closing that gap. Enter the newly released Samsung Galaxy A53. If you buy this phone, there is no charger in the box and Samsung also got rid of the headphone jack. But somehow, the Galaxy A53 still managed to be the best budget phone to buy right now. But how? That's what I'll be talking about in this video. My name is Yudi, I talk about tech, let's shoot. So around this time, about a month ago, I was practically begging you guys, my viewers, to subscribe so I could get to 500 subscribers. Well, right now we are above 600 subscribers. We gained more than 100 subscribers in a month. So thank you so much. And if you're new here, welcome, do subscribe, let's get to 1000 subscribers. Have you done that? Okay. So last year, if you asked any tech YouTuber the best budget to mid-range phone to buy, most of them will tell you the Redmi Note 10 Pro. It was a complete phone. Great cameras, great build quality, and good performance. Now, if you crave for more performance, they will recommend the Poco X3 Pro. It also had decent cameras, but insane level of performance, like almost flagship level. Both phones were from Xiaomi. But now, if you ask tech YouTubers the same question, I doubt anyone will mention Xiaomi phones. The successor of the Redmi Note 11 Pro is a huge disappointment considering how good last year's phone was. And the Poco X4 Pro is even more of a disappointment. Performance took a dive and you can only record 1080p video, no 4K. So when Samsung announced the new A-series devices, the A53 in particular, and I saw that there was no headphone jack and there is no charger in the box, I was thinking, ah, oh, it's another bomb. But no, it's, this is actually a pretty awesome device. Design-wise, it's similar to the Galaxy A52. And I think the reason for this is that Samsung has already reached peak design, even with their flagships. And I think we'll see a huge design change when Samsung has perfected the under the display camera tech. Now the Galaxy A53 has Gorilla Glass 5 protection and IP67 water and dust protection. Pretty good. Now software is where Samsung surprised everybody. This phone comes with the latest Android 12, but get this, 4 years of software updates. Samsung is beating Google at their own game. The A53 will get Android 13, Android 14, Android 15, and Android 16. Like, what? Tell me a mid-range phone that offers this amount of software updates. I'll be waiting. Just a reminder, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, do subscribe, just hit that subscribe button and the like button as well. Okay, back into the review. The display on the A53 is quite similar to last year's, but this time we get 120Hz instead of 90 So it's a 6.5 inch 1080p 120Hz Super AMOLED display with 800 nits of peak brightness. And of course, an under the display fingerprint scanner. Now powering that display and the entire phone is a 5000mAh battery capable of 25W of fast charging. Speaking about charging, like I mentioned earlier, we don't get a charger in the box. And using a fast charger that's not an original Samsung charger will not work. It will not fast charge. Here is what Valor Review said on that. I had to buy this original Samsung charger. It's a 25 watts fast charger for 10,500 Naira or $18. And do you know why? That's because the Samsung Galaxy A53 selects chargers. I tried charging it with my Xiaomi charger, my iPhone charger, my Apple MacBook charger, and it wasn't fast charging. Using one of the 33 watts fast charger that I have, it charged the Samsung Galaxy A53 in one hour, 56 minutes. And using the same 33 watts fast charger on the Samsung Galaxy A52, well, it charged that smartphone in one hour 15 minutes. We get the Exynos 1280 processor on the A53, a 5 nanometer processor. So we are looking at better battery life, better performance, better gaming performance, 5G and a faster phone all in all. The cameras on the A53 are the same as last year but we do get better image processing, a better ISP so better pictures, a 64 megapixel main center, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel depth and macro cameras, and upfront a 32 megapixel selfie shooter. The Samsung Galaxy A53 will cost you $450 or 223,000 naira, but a Samsung 25 watt fast charger will cost you $20 or 10,500 naira. So this phone actually costs $470 or 233,500 naira. That's pricey, but honestly, we can't really complain. 
it's way better than the competition so if you have 470 dollars to spend on a phone and you don't mind the lack of a headphone jack this is a phone to buy i hope you enjoyed watching this video my name is yudi this is yudi shoes thank you so much for watching and you see me in my next video <music>